What's up guys, it's your boy King Oat, back out here with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the beginner's guide to becoming a Kirby fan. And so, is this you? You saw the new Kirby and for the Forgotten Land trailers, and are like, wow, that looks really cool, a new 3D platformer by Nintendo, but I've never played a Kirby game before. What should I do before it? Well, I'm here to help you with that. And so today, I'm going to be telling you four steps to becoming a Kirby fan. The fourth one I would say is optional, but the three, the first three, I would say definitely do at least some of them. And so the first step is the games you should play. And so besides some of the older games on like the Switch Online services with the NES and SNES services on Switch Online, which have games like Kirby Superstar, Kirby Adventure, I would say there are three mainline, more modern Kirby games you should really pick up. The first one is Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I would highly recommend it. It's personally my favorite Kirby game at the moment, which uh, Forgotten Land might become that, but I'm not going to really spoil too much of it. All I'm going to say is it has one of the best final bosses in gaming for me, and it's just a really good time. The second game, Kirby, modern Kirby game I would recommend picking up is Kirby Planet Robobot. That is also a very solid game. You could also pick up Triple Deluxe. I think Planet Robobot is the better 3DS Kirby game though, but we all have different opinions. I would just highly recommend picking it up since the soundtrack is amazing. The gameplay is really tight, really good copy abilities. Yet again, I'm not going to spoil much of it but it's another really great time. And then the last modern Kirby game I would recommend picking up, it's not necessarily a must buy, but I'd recommend picking up Kirby Star Allies. It's just, I wouldn't play that first. I would play some of the other Kirby games before it, because Star Allies is almost kind of like the Avengers Infinity War of Kirby. You have to know the story and characters behind it to really appreciate it like you should. And so, I would not recommend it being your first Kirby game. Return to Dreamland, I believe, is $20 on the Wii U eShop. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if Planet Robobot is on the Wii U eShop or not, but I think you could get it for $20 to $30 on the 3DS. And then Star Allies, it usually retails for $60. I wouldn't buy it for $60. I would say try to get it for... The most I would pay for it would be 40 probably, but you could probably go onto online seller sites like eBay or something to try to find it at a more discounted price. And so those are the games you should play. The second step I would say, do this after you play some of the games though, is watch some Kirby lore explanation videos on YouTube. I'll try to link one that I watched recently that I really enjoyed, but there are some videos out there that really tie together the Kirby lore a lot better than I can do in this video, and I would highly recommend going and giving some of them a watch, but also just be cautious, it's YouTube, so there might be like minor swear words or something on some that you find, just be careful. But I would definitely recommend watching some of those, and watching the one I'll link in the description below. And then the third major step I would say to becoming a Kirby fan is listen to some of the soundtracks because honestly, Kirby music is some of the most underrated music Nintendo's made. I think it's incredible. I think it's really, really good. Almost every modern boss theme of the modern games is like a banger. It's really, really good. Some of the soundtracks I'd recommend listening to are the soundtracks of Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, Planet Robobot and Star Allies. You might want to listen to them after you play the games, just to appreciate them more and not to get spoiled or anything, but I would highly, highly recommend it. And then the fourth step to becoming a Kirby fan that is more optional is tr maybe try to find a way to watch the Kirby anime, Kirby Right Back At Ya. I think it's an enjoyable time, it's a little cheesy, I mean it's kind of a kid's show, but it's fun. I'm not promoting, like, piracy or illegal, like, watching it on YouTube for free when you have to pay for it or something like that. I don't really know the details behind that. You make your own decisions, but if there's a way you could find it, 
and just want something kind of silly to watch that's Kirby related, I would highly recommend it. So yeah, that's the beginner's guide to becoming a Kirby fan. I've been a Kirby fan for a lot of my life, and I'm very excited that more people are coming into the series through Forgotten Land. I really hope Forgotten Land is an awesome game, and I hope a lot more people come into this really cool and underrated series. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. It's free, uh, and you could always change your mind later. That's all from me. See y'all in the next one.